to start a vlog. <laughs> um. Hey, what's happening, my home dogs and house cats? A uh, few of you may be curious, but a few of you, I mean, probably none of you at this point. A home dog is an in real life friend. A house cat is a internet friend. I have a lot of both. Just because I have friends on the internet. Does it mean I don't have friends? Um, so, home dog specifically meaning Zach. Uh, after I'm done recording this video, I will block you on Skype. And yeah, I mean, you could text me or send me messages on Facebook, but that's just annoying. So you and I, while I'm down here in Florida, will contact through vlog. Okay, Zach, you already know who I am. Or at least I hope you do. For everyone else, my name is Charles James Marlowe, the first and only. Because <laughs> there's none after me, there's none before me. I'm one of one. I am Charles James Marlowe, the first. I'm known as Hooded Cobra on the internet because of my production company, Hooded Cobra Productions, which is most popular for doing a series called Pokemon Gold's Rush. I play the part of Gold, and I this isn't the voice I use. I say, my name's Gold, but people like to call me. Solid gold. Wins the gold wins the what? No, wins the gold. Who wins the gold? Never mind. But you can call me good old gold. Gold in them hills. Um, uh, moldy goldy. No, that's terrible. I'm I'm just gold. Okay. All right. Um, you might like the shirt I'm wearing. I drew it myself. Can you can we zoom in on that? Can we zoom in all that over there? Thank you kindly. Okay, standard questions. Favorite movie is a tie between Back to the Future and Ghostbusters. Favorite television show? Flip-flops every few months, but always finds its way back to being Monk. Uh, I also like Get Smart, um, Animaniacs. Favorite... Video game! That's right! People seem to think I like video games for some reason. Though I don't play video games that often, because between the gaming marathon that I'm in charge of that you can read more about by clicking on this shoe... ...and, um, researching for things like Pokemon Gold's Rush, Video game kind of feels like work for me, but if I were to play video games, it would be Legende de Zelda. Wait, I mean, Densetu no Zelda! I mean, Legend of Zelda. I love Legend of Zelda games, um, because I can. Legend of Zelda. I love Legend of Zelda games, um, because, well, uh, to quote Link, Hatch! Yeah! Yeah! Shit! Yeah! Yeah! Couldn't have said it better myself. Is there something you would like to tell everyone, Mr. SP over there? It looked like you raised your hand or lowered your hand or something. Indeed. My greatest strength is that I have an extreme compulsion to be creative. I am constantly coming up with ideas, whether they be good or not. And my weakness is going to, uh... Take a little bit of explanation. Okay, I have a vision problem, but it is not with seeing, it is with looking. It's not like, hmm, uh, hold on, I got an example. Prop master, come forth. This is what is called a video game. Um, it is in two dimensions, but using perspective clues, such as uh, shadow, lighting, and um, size of objects, and you can figure out which is closer and which is farther away. But this game happens to be for a system known as the 3DS, which allows you to flip this switch and make it in 3D. This is how most people see. There's a thing called monocular vision, where someone would see this, what you see when you play this game. 
Though I don't have binocular vision, I am not up here like everyone else. I am more right there. I have to use the, uh, the, the perspective clues when playing instead of just looking at the depth, even though I can tell that depth is there. This just slight disability causes a lot of symptoms similar to that of ADHD. Drink Thomas Cola. Fill your glass and take a healthy slug. It's a real surprise. Makes your spirit rise while the rest of you just lies there on the rug. Drink Thomas Cola. Dyslexia and various motion sickness and balance problems. Uh, I don't like cars. I don't it's cause a lot of problems. I can't actually read unless I'm reading it out loud. Like, I have a huge vocabulary, but when I'm looking at a book and reading it in my head, it doesn't make any sense. And when I'm reading it to a person, suddenly it makes sense. Suddenly it's acting! Let me not to the marriage of true minds and mid impediments. Love is not love which alters, but its alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. And also it helps when someone reads the book to me, because then it's like watching a movie, like uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Great movie. People seem to think that if something is being performed for you, that is like low culture, like television, and um, if something, you are reading it for yourself and interpreting it, that is high culture, like a book. So even though Shakespeare is a script made to be made into, nowadays, a movie. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on a tempest and is ne'er shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose woods are known, although his height be taken. People still think the script is high culture and the movie is, is slightly lower culture just because someone is performing it for them. Uh, I don't really, there's not, I don't, haven't had too many opportunities to read books, uh, though I am familiar with a lot of them, mostly the ones forced down us, uh, down us, forced down us, <laughs> mostly the ones forced unto us in school, uh, such as Shakespeare. I never read, but no man ever knew. Two books, uh, that I've read just on my own and fully understood and one of them even memorized, uh, I often consider my favorite books, are uh, The Hobbit and The Lorax. Uh, I really enjoyed The Hobbit and considered it one of my favorite books, though never really got into the Lord of the Rings books too much. And, and every Earth Day I volunteer at a school for the multiply disabled and read the Lorax to the children. Sorry, I'm taken. Though this year, 2012, I can finally be the DB that says the book was much better. Zach, I expect a vlog. If I do not see a vlog, sometime soon, then uh, just wondering, uh, what size cement shoes you wear?